Um, so, I will tell you, oh, it's loud, right? Um, I, will, um, I will tell you a bit more about the book now. And then today, uh, for those who would like to do something about the book today or during the, the weeks, um, the idea is to just figure out what would be interesting topics for you, for each one of you, how we can form groups, and uh, just let some topics emerge. And then from tomorrow on, there will be actual sessions, um, because there are many, many possibilities, and I think we have this critical mass of people with different interests and different, um, different skills, so we should really, really see what's the best um, things we can, we can do together. Um, so, first of all, um, again, uh, some general words about the book. Uh, so the idea is to write an open uh, textbook uh, for students and researchers on what we call economic principles, and this for us basically means things like um, resource allocation and scattering problems in cells, but it can also go beyond that. So it can also be on the, on the organ level. We want to write this um, in a, a bit self-organized way without any commercial interests, without publishers. And uh, the book will be available as a PDF uh, for everyone. But we also want to make it possible to, um, yeah, to have copies uh, at a very minimal price as print on demand. So this is the first, a first test uh, copy that we made. If you're interested, you can have a look later. Um, and the whole text and, and, and book is supposed to, to evolve by the time. Um, and that also means that contributing is relatively easy, so you can join and leave. We do not depend on specific deadlines and specific single persons, which makes everything relatively fluid. And um, yes, also there's not a, not a very strong, strict commitment once you, uh, you join the group. Um, <clears throat> yeah, we do the releases all every three months. Um, and uh, if you want to contribute, it can be any kinds of, all kinds of things. So you could just join discussions about topics, you can participate in the actual writing, if you want to uh, work on figures, graphics, layout, all these, for all these things we need people to do it. <coughs> and um, so you can see if there's, there's anything that interests you. This is the, um, the current list of chapters that we uh, wrote already and that are still going to evolve. Uh, so at the moment, it's really focused on metabolism and, uh, and cell modeling. So there are a couple of, um, of chapters that give a general background on, on cell biology and uh, metabolism. Then in part two, there's really a succession of chapters on different um, approaches to economics in metabolism, meaning um, FBA, so optimizing the fluxes or optimizing the, um, the enzyme efficiency, enzyme investments. In part three, we start from scratch again with small cell models, a few variables, models of a growing cell, and then um, see <coughs> how this can be extended to get to really large models with uh, thousands of, of variables by incorporating again metabolism. And then the later chapters are about more complicated situations. Um, on the one hand, uh, temporal dynamics. On the other hand, uh, questions of um, variability between cells, uh, hopefully in the future also communities. And um, at the moment, the last chapter is going to the organ level. So to see how, um, how scaling um, and resource allocation play out on the, on the level of uh, the lung, in this case, as, a, as an example. <clears throat> and between, between the cells and this, there's a lot of space for new, for new topics. Um, and so we hope to, to really extend this. And specifically here, it would be interesting to, uh, to maybe draft a few chapters on, 
um, interacting cells, cell populations, uh, cell communities, and so on. So topics really uh, linked to, to this um, school. Um, a few points about the, the work that we, possible work that we thought about. Um, so it's really for everyone who is interested. Um, you can switch between uh, attending tutorials on one day and uh, contributing to, to book sessions on another day. So it's, it's relatively uh, free and flexible. And this will always take place in uh, the one hour time slot that is on most of the days reserved for, uh, for, for group activities or interactive activities, usually at the, at the end of the uh, end of the day. Um, the idea is uh, to, in different groups, to think about existing chapters, how they can be um, further developed, to think about uh, chapters that ha have already been drafted but not written, so where a structure already exists um, and where there could be more work on the structure or beginning of writing, and then also maybe to, to develop the chapters from scratch. Um, this is all going to be a bit self-organized, so maybe there's one group with just one person who's responsible for a chapter, and then maybe one, two people um, join them for, for discussing, giving feedback. In another case, it could be a larger group of uh, people. Yeah, Just um, divide the, the tasks, um, decide upon, upon a structure, what are the figures, what kind of references, and so on. So it can be very different. Um, between the different um, groups. And uh, of course, uh, once, you, once you start thinking about a chapter and a session, you probably also have discussions and during, during the day and, um, and um, yeah, think about it. Um, yeah, you can do that uh, here without any obligation to continue after the workshop. Uh, in the project, but of course, if you're interested, um, you're very welcome to also become like a, a member or a contributor on the, on the longer term. And um, um, so after this uh, introduction, as Jacopo said, some of you will stay here for the tutorial. Others, the others, will well, we'll meet on the terrace and we, we will start talking about possible uh, topics and groups there. Um, to organize the sessions, uh, we set up a shared doc. Uh, you have the QR code here. And the um, URL, I think it's also, it's, it's in one of the emails that, uh, that we sent. So if you don't, have, don't know how to get access to this shared doc, just, uh, just ask me. And we also have um, quite a few book authors uh, here among us. So I, I'm not sure that this list is, uh, is complete. I hope so. I hope I didn't forget anyone. Um, yeah, so if you have questions, you can also ask some of these people about their experiences and so on. Uh, the shared doc, you can uh, you're, feel free to put stuff there to write your comments. So it's really a working document where we uh, which we use for, for practical exchanges. Um, and uh, for the actual writing, there will be separate, uh, separate docs. But everything that concerns the communication and coordination can be, can be done there in a freestyle way. And now I come to the possible topics that we could think about. And the list is way too long, so I'm just giving possibilities here. And later we have to figure out what makes sense or where there's this interest. Um, so first we have a couple of um, potential chapters where we already identified people who would like to work on them. So I, um, I put the um, topics and some of the names. Um, there were already more of you who who signaled a bit of interest uh, beforehand. So these are really the contact persons, and we can talk more about this uh, on the terrace. Then there are three topics which would be new chapters and that are really related to the 
um, to, to this um, course, to this workshop. Um, one is cell populations and population dynamics. Uh, one is um, communities, uh, symbiosis, cross-feeding, and so on. And the third would be cells that are not in a state of maximal growth, but rather non-growing, growing slowly, doing other things. <coughs> and um, I think this would be very good for the book because now it's all about growing fast, which is interesting, <laughs> but it's <laughs> way from being, like it's, it's, not, uh, it's not all that we're interested in. And uh, I think also politically, it's, it will be nice to think about um, states in which a fast growth is not the, is not the aim, or not the, the main aim. Oops. Um, then we also have a, a few um, chap existing chapter drafts on, on uh, different topics. Just possibilities. And uh, for the lecturers, I thought that probably many things that you, that you tell us could also be contributions for the book. And one possibility, if you like, for the lecturers would be to think about one thing from your lecture that would fit into one of the chapters and write a little box about it. So this could be just one page, one, uh, one figure, so not a lot of work. And um, yeah, so you could, you could have your the little contribution that is directly related to your, um, to your talk here. And we can, we can talk about what makes sense and how this could be added. Yeah. Um, okay, and then there's also a couple of things that concern mostly the, the book authors, like the, the actual organization team, things that we need to discuss anyway. So it's about um, uh, graphics, um, then Jupyter notebooks that we, further Jupyter notebooks that we want to collect and so on. So I hope there will be some occasions for, for us, for the, like the inner core uh, group uh, during this week or the next week to, to have a little chat about this. And of course, everyone else is also invited to, to join. This is it. Um, and for the rest, I think we will we'll just, we'll just see what happens uh, when we are on the terrace. Mm -hmm. Exactly. <laughs> so um, just before uh, we do the yeah. we do the division, uh, just a couple of announcements. Since then, we are going to be into different places. So um, this is the program as uh, as you see. So now we have uh, the group on work, and people that want to go can follow all from to the terrace. And then we have we, the others can stay here for the uh, first uh, um, tutorial. And then uh, at five, uh, we will have the poster session, which is going to be just outside that door. So probably there are already posters. So at five, just reconvene here for the poster. And then uh, you can uh, stay, disperse, discuss with the uh, poster presenters. And then we'll meet again today at uh, 6.45 on the terrace, where we do a little game to know each other that Wolfram is uh, coordinating. And Elad, Elad is coordinating. Yes. I don't know about the game, but I'm very curious. So, um, But there is enough space. And then uh, just after that, we are going to...